you want to be. Those people who help change their country. I want people never to forget who they are from their historical backgrounds to their cultural heritage. Local can be great, local can be of value, local can be exceptional, local can be well done. Comic books, literally the true meaning of action-packed stories. Initially left for kids and nerds, comic books are now being adapted into multi-billion grossing films. Despite revolutionizing how stories are told, comic books haven't found a home in Ugandan shelves. But this is about to change. In Kampala, we find a group of illustrators who have joined hands to single-handedly take Ugandan superheroes to the world stage. There is something that comics have to offer towards uh, the literacy level. You know, a great writer once said, comics are the gateway to literacy. And I'm, I'm expressing it through our comic books. We are tackling political, social, economic uh, issues in our comic books, whereby when someone reads it, their lives change. Sentongo Charles is my name, and um, I'm a co-founder of Elupe House of Comics and Animation. The, the comic industry once existed in our country 20 years ago, but it has disappeared because the first comic book 20 years ago wasn't actually from here. It wasn't done by our very own artists. It was coming from outside. However much they tried to connect uh, the whole um, the story to our famous characters in football. But when I grew up and realized there is no other comic book and I was interested in it, that is when I got a, the inspiration to fill in that gap. Bridging that gap would be a huge undertaking. He needed like-minded individuals for this journey. His childhood friends were up to the task. I remember even in primary, we, we used to draw with, with George very, very much. It was, uh, the, 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 that is what bonded us together as friends. But we, we split during, during secondary school and still we came back at university like, hey, whoa. But uh, then I met Derek from Makere. He was a year above me, but uh, Derek was a great illustrator. We fell in love with his work, George and I. And uh, speaking to him, we had the same passion. We, we love drawing, we love illustration art. We felt like this whole Pan-Africanism was in us and we wanted to do African comic books. When we sat down at the round table, we said, you know what, let's start up a company. And that is how Elupe began. Elupe is an Iteso word to mean uh, clay. I will use clay because, I mean, it's that. But where other people see that, I mean, we see great sculptures, you know. It's the mindset creates something from nothing, you know. That mindset is what inspired Elupe to find a unique canvas for their creation. Being proficient illustrators, it was only natural that comic books would be their medium of choice. The reason why I'm so attracted to comic books as a medium is because they're very uh, visual. Um, it's very easy for you to tell the story in a way that touches several of your senses, not just um, your mind, but also your sight and your imagination. You get what I mean? So like, when you sit down and read a comic book, it, it, it just reads so easily. I think we need comics in Africa right now. Particularly because, you know, how else are we going to compete with the world? I think it's the perfect medium, really. That's what it, it, it comes down to, and we need this. At a glance, you might only see colorful superheroes with extreme powers. But when you take a closer look, Elupe has managed to weave strong Pan-Africanism messages in their work, something they hope will resonate with their audience. There's a lot that we don't know, we Africans, about ourselves, and I see it as a platform that I could use to put out certain messages that a lot of Africans that have missed out, the youth especially, they lack the African pride. There's a project we just finished uh, that we call Children of War, and it's basically the X-Men set in water on Congo. Uh, so in, so we, did, we wanted to go beyond the whole idea of, yeah, they, these guys have superpowers and they're very cool. And we wanted to, you know, explore the idea of um, what does it mean to be a worthy father figure, like the way Charles Xavier is a worthy father figure to the X-Men. Elupe has flourished as a unit, with each member presenting a unique style that has become their biggest selling point. I like roundy, huge kind of characters, uh, totally 
they don't imitate life but when when someone looks at my style it's more of cartoony they usually call it cartoony but i like to respect the anatomy um of the reality my style is like a buffet yeah that's how i see my style i mean i've stolen so much from so many people <laughs> So it's Kasavu Kanyama, you know. Every artist whose work I thought is dope, I mean, I take something from them, you know. And the beauty about that is that at the end of it all, it's just drawing, you know. It's, it does not really matter where you got it from, you know. At the end of it all, it's a mix. And, you know, folks who see my work say it's mine, so. <laughs> I'm more realistic. I'm inspired by Jim Lee. He keeps the anatomy in the, the muscles, the huge, yeah, and the boobs are hot. Eh? I love that. <laughs> I love to emulate that in my comics. Eh? This repertoire is developed working for hours in this studio, a studio available to them by George's mother. It is here that all the magic happens. This is a lighting table. It is one of the most important accessories to have in studio. We have it here and we use it to ink. Inking is the second stage after penciling, where the light, the lighting table has a bulb in there that produces light that we use uh, to ink our penciled pages. This is the next stage from the lighting table, where we are going to digitally color our, the, our illustration. So from here, I get on to the other stage of coloring where I put the tonal values, where someone has to really feel where is the source of light light intensity on different areas according to how much a tedious detail-oriented job that takes hours to refine and that is just half of it being pioneers of a new movement elupe's quest has been tough they have had to take side jobs from advertising agencies and publishing companies to finance their comic books amidst all the juggling they were able to produce their maiden digital copy known as the gander the Ganda is a, is a story about you into a Nambi, a folk story from, uh, about, about Buganda. Buganda is one of the ethnic groups of the Bantu that, that is in the country. So it was a really hassle since we were doing it for the first time as a team, splitting work here and there, specialization, one inks, one colors, one pencil, one letters. It was a lot of work, but luckily we were able to finish our first project and we put it up on our website. You can find it on elupeug.com. So this is what our website looks like. I'm going to take you through a few things. Um, down here you can download the comic for free. It's free for everyone. For those that haven't gotten it. Um, down here we have the, the variant covers. You can check them out. And um, we also have the contacts for you guys who want to get in touch with us. It's right there down. We are on various social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, we have various works there. You can check them out, comment. We need that feedback. So we're looking at targeting mainly the, the youth, the young, the young Ugandan, the young African. These are people who are easily access the internet. Traditionally, a comic book is supposed to be held. So the internet uh, is what we're using for now. But in the near future, we're looking at printing books. The Ganda's success has elevated Elupe House of Comics to a new stature. They have a huge following across Uganda. Today, they've been invited to have a chat with their fans at Power FM, a local radio station. And uh, in case you're wondering who else is in studio, we have the amazing gifted illustrators from Elupe. Mm. Elupe. Elupe. We, we earlier on had asked the guys how they made it and they said something that I think is very profound make better use of the internet people because Charles, Derek and the rest of the guys are behind this amazing brand say that most of them actually if they are to go back to school it's just to polish they said they they have the passion but they also acquired the skill through internet so for me that's my take home Yeah, 
and that is what I do in my free time. I come here, do my music with the Kenyan Jeans, we are an award-winning gospel a cappella vocal band. It is this kind of energy that keeps Elupe going. They have stayed hungry and are always looking to the internet and their role models for inspiration. This is the bedrock of their teamwork. What excites me the most about working with Elupe? Yo, have you met the team? A team is really, really, really awesome. I mean, meeting people who are like your kind of people, like these people have like the same kind of vision that you do. I mean, that's magical. It's always fun to me. It's what gives me the strength eh? and uh, feeling obligated that I have to give, give something back to the African. Yeah, share some knowledge that they need. The heart and soul of an artist, what I see on paper, is the heart and soul an artist puts into the art piece. So it's a big deal to me right now, being among friends who do comic books and who love comics. Working with the Lupe has really helped me, you know, tell African stories, real African stories, to approach them in that way. I have a very globalist um, mindset of the world, like everything is, like, you know, global, but like, you know, pulling back, pulling back a little bit so that I can have an African perspective to how people see the world. Though the strides to filling the shelves with Ugandan comic books are slow, the pace is steady and the audience is ready. Uganda superheroes might, after all, be making their debut in the international scene, courtesy of Elupe.